Hi, welcome uh, to this uh, eighth video tutorial on our series. Today we are going to continue with a new topic, which is how to start, stop, and play back the recording. So once we have started our video, we will try to record it and stop the recording and play it back. So in order to do that, it is uh, important to go back to our APIs and see uh, what we are going to use, the documentations is the most important things. So when we come here to our MDN uh, documentations, Microsoft Developer Network documentations, and uh, we can see here uh, this API using Media Stream Recording API. The media stream recording API make it easy to record audio and our video streams. So when we use uh, when use with uh, navigator dot media devices dot get user media, it provides an easy way to record from user input devices and instantly use the result in web apps. So this is what we are going to do. And as you can see here, so many good stuff are there. But if we keep here and go to essential, and let's go to the media recording. <clears throat> so we see here and uh, blah, blah, blah. Here is a concept and usage. And uh, the media stream recording API is comprised of a single major interface that is is media recorder so which does all the work of taking the data from a user uh, from a media stream so this is the media stream that we get when uh, we get the permissions we fetch when we get the permissions from the hardware uh, camera and microphones and delivering it to you for processing. So the data is delivered by a series of data available events. So if we uh, click here, <coughs> we can see that here, this is uh, the main constructor that we use here, that uh, this uh, uh, recorder constructor creates a new um, media recorder object given a stream to record. So once we have this uh, recorder here, we can pass a media stream to it to record. And then as usual here, there are options available to do like setting the type of the recording that we want. We want it to be recorded as web uh, M type or the MP4 or MP4 or yeah, or whatever uh, you will uh, want to. And then in addition to that, we can see here, like we have a media recorder resume, media recorder start, media recorder uh, stop here. And then one interesting thing here is uh, these events here. So we are going to make use of this data available event. It's our friend when it comes to recording. And then we can see that uh, the data available events of the recorder interface is fire when uh, the media recorder deliver media data to your <laughs> applications for its use. And then the data is provided in a blob. Interesting here. So we are going to deal with the blobs uh, object that contain uh, the data. And we can see four situations when uh, that event is triggered. So when the media stream ends, that is your friends. So when media stops here, and uh, so this one is called, yeah, when media uh, recorder stop is called all media data, which have been captured since recording here begun last time and blah, 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 or quote. So, and we also have uh, this, uh, when uh, this uh, media record is, Request it and so on. So, uh, so many interesting things are here. You can see these events, how it is called, invoked in in the code, and then 
So, yeah, so this is a sample code here. But uh, we are going to stop here. The most important thing was uh, to show you the documentation. So you can go through all these uh, soft here and try to see them one by one according to what uh, you want to implement. So if you go back to our previous code, code base uh, from the previous code here, uh, this is what we had so far and uh, we had uh, this, uh, we, we stop here at this interface. So we need to make some modifications now. And as usual, we are going to start with the service. Let's declare that an array here. This array here will store uh, video data chunks. So we need to store the video data chunks as shown in the in the API, so we call it recorded uh, shanks, and then it has to be of type plot and array equal brackets. Then the next uh, attributes here that we need to be on stop, which for callbacks when recordings ends. So, on stop, call back here. Then here, be careful because it's going to be, uh, we are going to pass blob here. and void else we have null null so that's for uh, our callback when recording ends and then now we can go down and declare our method and then the method that we are going to start with is, of course, uh, the recording. <coughs> so here, start recording the video stream. We start recording the video stream and then also handle uh, the data availability availability and uh, stop events <clears throat> start recording and then inside here we are going to pass on stop Callback, which as shown above here, we are going to create a variable blob and then void. <coughs> then here itself is void, and yeah, here is our recording. And uh, yeah, as uh, discussed in the previous video, everything starts with the stream. Here is the stream. Here is where uh, we got uh, the permissions. If you accept, if you grant the permissions by accepting the pop-up dialog box here, then we have the stream. So it's that stream that we are going to handle now. As usual, we check if this stream set. So this now we can clear any previous data, right? A recording shanks is equal to empty array. So empty bracket to make sure that we clear uh, any previous data. 
Then now you can set the callback to handle blob after recording. So this uh, on stop callback is equal to this one, our local callback. Then now let us uh, set up uh, set up the media recorder. We set up the media recorder with supported uh, video type. So const mim type mim type here is uh, video webm and uh, also the codec all these one are in the documentations vp so yeah should not uh, not surprise here then media recorder is we check if first it is supported if the type is supported <coughs> that's the first thing that you will try to check now if it's not else then console error mim type not supported and then we are going to return the functions but if it is supported then we can now uh, initialize our uh, media recorder oh no 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 media uh, media recorder did we not uh, define that here on top no we didn't define that so we need to also declare one global uh, media uh, recorder instance media recorder instance here which is null equal null that one is there so if we can come back now and then set here this media recorder is equal to uh, new media recorder and then this is uh, the stream okay and then we can pass our mem type and then now once this one is set we can come now and handle some events so uh, we have set up uh, we are set up our media recorder now what we do is uh, we handle the events when uh, when data is available during uh, recording 
So when data is available during decoding, recording, uh, what we are going to do is, of course, we are going to make use of our on data available events. We are going to make use of our on data available events. And here, events here, data size, we check if the size is greater than zero. If the data is uh, greater than zero, what we do is we do uh, this recording shanks. So we append uh, the data to uh, the shank. We push it, event data. And then we can now uh, uh, log it as usual. Data available. Data available. Then event data size. And uh, What is the issues here? The left side of an assignment. And then, if we take this, okay, then uh, what we can do, we can. check this we can take this one and uh, check it here else console lock then media A recorder not initialized. So we keep it this way, simple. Then now and then the next event that uh, we are going to handle now is uh, when recorded stop then we'll need to create a blob and then call uh, the callback. So when recording stop, then create a blob and call the callback. So that's what we do now. And then uh, what we're going to do is this one, this uh, media recorder, the events here is uh, on stop, on stop. What we do is 
this one. And same as before, if you have to check this media recorder, Okay. Uh, it is okay. Hmm. Then now, and then on stop, what we need to do is to declare uh, a recorder. Record it. Blob instance here new blob and then inside we are going to past our recorded shanks and then pass uh, the media type video set it to mim Meme type, right? This one, meme type is not. Uh, can we just quickly uh, set this one? Okay, here is uh, the meme type which is set, and then So I have this uh, no way. So this one everything should be here inside uh, you have to take this one and put it inside here. Right? We don't need to declare a new instance here. And now it should be okay. Okay, then that's our stuff here. And then console lock. A recording stopped. And then blob size. Also, we need to set the blob size which is a uh, recorded blob size. So we show uh, the blob size on stop, the size of the recorded video, and then <coughs> if now this on stop call back, this on stop callback we pass the blob uh, to uh, the callback so that's what we do and then that one is there and then once that one is done we can now come back and 
this media recorder start the recording start the recording and then console lock recording started so recording started that is okay now for this uh, start uh, recording then the next thing that we have to do is to stop uh, recording process in the service so I declare again stop recording process stop recording in stop recording now what we do simple so if uh, this uh, media recorder set and then if this media recorder state is equal recording then what do we do what we do now is we stop recording by triggering on stop so this media recording stop And then if, in, if you want to push it, you can add another button which will stop uh, the media stream and record uh, and, and release uh, the camera. So I can call this one stop uh, stream as a bonus. So this one, uh, we are going to make use of stream. Get tracks and then we go to the tracks for each tracks now track stop so in this way now we stop all uh, media track then it is done now we now have to come back now in uh, components in the app component now the first thing that we have to do here is to come and create uh, a new element here that we call uh, playback element this is play playback element and it is B same as above is B of type uh, playback elements and then we also need to add another attribute here which is uh, a flag for handling uh, recording states so we call that recording and then it will be of type boolean it is a flag by default is set to null uh, to false set to false and the next thing the last one will be uh, recorded url recorded video url this one should be used uh, as a string uh, which um, will be used for recorded video uh, playback once that one is done now let us come back in the
here we need to even before going there I will do is uh, I will come here to the view and uh, add a, a button a new button here below here we need to add uh, a two button for stopping and then for recording and stopping so here I'm going to add one button here for stopping the recording and then the next one for starting the recording and then here will be uh, is I will take just copy that and put here recordings so here we can start the recording and then also here we stop uh, the recording so uh, that one is set <coughs> Then if I come now, and here is top uh, stream. Then I will come back to this one and then create a method. If we go, no. It's not there. So we come now and then we set that. Same with this one. We come again and then create another method here. For stopping the recording and then we also need to add uh, one uh, playback area below uh, this video here so we add one playback area here and this one is the reference this uh, playback element here is uh, this uh, reference that uh, we we are referring to that one here we are pulling that reference here into the playback element so that uh, we can use it push the video there once it is uh, once this one is set here then the video will be automatically uh, shown there so then we go down and then on this one is done we need to implement our method this one will be simple now so we can just go to the media service start a recording and then inside here we are going to record it no recorded video block that and then this uh, so we need to uh, handle uh, to process the record uh, a recorded video after a recording stop so in order to do that and we start that one and then on the recorded blob and then we pass our blob method 
So what we do now is we are going to declare this method now. Here is our method and then uh, we come back to these implementations. So before doing that, let us simply uh, media service stop recording. That one should be simple. Then this recording, we set this one to false. Then now uh, let us handle uh, the recorded blob and set up uh, so set up uh, the playback. So in order to do that, in order to do that now, so we are going to first first of all check if we have even the data recorded video size is greater than zero. That's the first thing. Then revoke, uh, we have to revoke the previous blob URL to prevent uh, memory leaks. So revoke the previous blob URL to prevent memory leak. So whatever we had before, we call it video URL. Let's check that. If it is set, then URL revoke object and then inside that we are going to pass our recorded video URL. Then once that one is done and then we have to create a new URL for the assigned block for the recorded block sorry and then assign it to our recorded uh, HTML element, recorded video URL element. So in order to do that, let's uh, create here, record uh, URL equal URL, create URL recorded blob. Here is that, and then mm, one interesting thing here is uh, you have to force trigger whenever a change happen. We also there is also a way to trigger Angular to update the view, and then in order to do that, so what we have to do now here is. Trigger Angular to update the view. So once we create, uh, what we are doing here, we are creating a new object for the recorded uh, new URL objects for the new recorded uh, blob. And in, that's why we need to update uh, the Angular view and uh, so uh, we can come uh, we can go on top now and uh, let's go where is uh, the constructor here so we can just quickly uh, standard variable name is tdr change detector Here is our CDR. Then we can now come uh, down and use it. This CDR. 
detect changes. Bam. And then now console log video recorded successfully. Blob, blob size will be equal to recorded Recorded video or blob recorded video here size. And uh, that is there, and we can also under uh, uh, options here by just uh, consoling console lock and uh, no data recording available. So we are almost there. So what have we forgotten? So, so far so good, no error is there. And then, hmm. that is there let's go now and try to see uh, how it play out we are requesting uh, the video permissions and we attach the video it's there we start the recording And uh, we have a problem here. Stop uh, the video. Go back to the code. And the uh, recording here, the button is not... Uh, this one should be disabled. And this one enable. So if uh, we go to the start, when... Okay. When we start here, and then should set uh, the recording. This recording should be set to true. Okay. And then if you refresh it again, request the video, attach the video, start it. So you can, it's working now, it's, and then I started recording. Now, if you stop it, you can see that uh, here is our playback here, which is there. And if we start it, you can see our playback is working. So I just keep uh, this video here. Here is my live video. But you can see the playback, right? You can see the difference, like the playback is there. So, yeah, it's working. And then we can also make it nicer by improving the styling. Uh, here is the video. And... Uh, Mm, let's stop this one now and go back uh, to the video recording and we can just
put everything and uh, where is the recording? Yes, that yes, the video. If I just put everything here. Right, and uh, let's play it again. Request the video, attach the video, start the recording, 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 stop it. You can see our playback is coming before uh, under that one, and yeah, it's working. So I hope that uh, this uh, new video has been useful to you. Now you are able to. <coughs> At the recordings, so and start stop recording and add the playback in your site. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Bye.